What is popping guys? Today I am bringing you yet another product review. Today's product is going to be these right here. They are tattoo needle cartridges by Imala. Now for full disclosure, Imala did send me these needles. However, this is not a sponsored video and no money has exchanged hands. Imala do not get to have any input in this review and they see this review on upload just like everyone else. So firstly, as always, let's start with the price. Prices range from $25.99 per box of 20 in the US and £21 here in the UK, going up to $29.99 for their Super Magnums which are Imola's 40 plus mags. And then it also goes up to $35.99 for their special stipple liners. Now Imola do their 100 plus snow shovel mags, which may also differ in price. Now when your needles arrive, they will come in a box like this. It is a pretty standard box. However, it does have a slide out and push in function for easy access to the needles. But what Imola do that I really do like is they coat their boxes in this plastic film, just giving it that added extra protection. Now onto the needle range. And what surprised me the most was the liners. Usually liners start from a eight gauge going up to a 12 gauge, but Imola's liners actually start at a four gauge with a diameter of 18 millimeters. Now, although your liners start at four gauge, the round shaders and the mags start at eight gauge. That's aside from their super mags, the 40 plus mags, which start at 10 gauge. The majority of needles are long tapered. However, some needles do have slight variation in taper. Now for the needle configurations. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this guy right here about to reel off every single needle configuration? Yeah, I kind of did, but the video was way, way too long. So all you need to know is there is quite a few different needle configurations at different gauges and different tapers. If you want to know what they are, check out the Amala website because I've just saved you about five minutes. Now, these are the key features as of their website. You get high quality imported Japanese stainless steel, which is obviously medical grade. The needles come with a membrane system to prevent backflow, a stability system to make the needles more stable when using, and obviously they are 100% sterilized. Imola also boasts over 300 complete sizes. Now onto the pros. I have been using these needles now for around about a week. And I have to say, I am super, super impressed with the liners and the round shaders, the free liners in particular. For me, those are by far the standouts. I have been using the eight gauge free liner with a five millimeter taper and these boys are seriously tight and put together well. The eight gauge five millimeter tapered three liners that I have been using fill the gap well between a single and a regular three liner. In fact, I would go as far as saying it is probably the tightest, most well put together needle that I have ever used. Now, when it comes to stipple, usually I have two free liners out, one for stippling and one for lining. However, I was testing these needles and I used one needle for both the stipple and the lining and the needle held up. Oh, chef's kiss, fantastic. It held its sharpness and structure, structure. Oh my God, I can't even say it. It held its sharpness and structure Structure, why can't I speak? Structure, very well. Now this was just the eight gauge liner. I cannot imagine what the four gauge liner would be like. Now the round shaders, I was using a nine round shader and I was mainly using it for any textured bits that I needed, but mainly for lining. And I can confirm the nine round shader puts in a clean, crispy line effortlessly. Why can't I speak? Now I also used a 10 gauge nine curved mag bug pin and a 13 curved mag bug pin. 
However, the taper was just too long for these magnums. If I had those needles with a medium taper, it would have been vastly superior for me anyway. However, the nine and the 13 both work great for building values. If you have seen my Cyberpunk Batman, the nine curved mag and the 13 curved mag were both used on that piece and you can see how smooth it is. So when I am talking about those needles, it is all just personal preference. Now I did give these needles to a few other artists in the shop. They tried the liners, round shaders and mags and they all pretty much had the same conclusion. They loved the liners and the tightness they loved the round shaders, but did not like the mags at all. Now the casing of these needles definitely feels like a quadrant needle. So if you've ever felt quadrant, that's what these feel like. All the needles that I used fit perfectly into my grip with zero resistance on the in and on the out. And what's also good is the needles in the liners and the round shaders sit in the middle. It's not off to the left or the right so it does offer some seriously good precision. I also experienced absolutely no backflow problems. There was no like pigment shooting up into my grip or anything like that. And the ink flow of these needles was pretty good. Next up, the cons. I did find that the liners rattled just a little bit more than any other brands. Now it wasn't a big difference but it was definitely there and it was definitely noticeable. But that extra rattle is certainly not a deal breaker. It's just an, a slight increase in decibels. Now the free liners are so tight and sharp. It's so easy to blow out. There is no forgiveness whatsoever on these needles and you have to be really careful if you do use them. Now you should be careful with every single needle that you use, but these are so tight and so sharp that you do need to pay attention when you are using them. These definitely could be so nasty. When I say they are tight, I really mean they are so, so tight that I struggle to see the needle. As I'm bringing that needle down to skin, I am struggling to see where it is like positioned because it is so tight. If you do not have your hand speed down and your voltage, stay away from these needles because you will be blowing out everywhere. Now, are there any deal breakers? Aside from the mags, I have loved using these needles and honestly, it is all personal preference. Are there any deal breakers with the needles themselves? Absolutely not. No, it's not like the needles are barbed. It's not like the casing is constructed poorly or anything like that. There's absolutely no deal breaker with the needle themselves. Now, I would say artists are going to love these needles. However, it always boils down to personal preference when it comes to something like this. I don't like the particular mags that I've used because I feel the taper is too long, but another artist would absolutely love that and maybe in the market looking for that type of needle myself love the freeze and i will be stocking up on the free liners because they are that good now if you want to try these needles for yourself there is a link with a coupon code in the description to get yourself some money off but guys that is all for this review i hope you have enjoyed this review i hope you have found it useful if you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to turn on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to support me through Patreon, you can. You will get access to a private Discord server where you can ask all the questions you want, get private, you know, critiques, yada yada. I am on tap basically for you. I also do one-on-one -on -one seminars email again in the description but guys i will see you all in the next one peace out muchest love